everybody it's Micheline from Michel Makes again with another vlog for you um, this one is to thank you all I did mention it in the ginger jeans uh, vlog that I did this is to thank you all all those who subscribe to me I can't believe that a thousand plus people want to watch an old lady like me but it's absolutely thrilling to know that you are interested in watching my my vlogs and that I entertain you in some cases but it's uh, it's it's really good I'm really pleased and as a way of saying thank you, um, I didn't know what to do. And then I thought, hold on a minute. You, in the past year, I have bought, I have acquired a load of patterns, partly uh, because I wanted to buy them myself and partly because I got some in magazines. And in a couple of cases, I've actually bought twice over. So what I thought I might do is show you the patterns that I have. Once I've shown you all, all the patterns that I have, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine patterns. If you are interested in any of them, uh, in the message box down here, just below my video, there's a little box where it says you make a comment. If you want to make a comment and let me know which one you, you're interested in, I will match all those people to that pattern and I'll randomly uh, pick one for each one and then uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll contact the one who's won and ask them for their address and I'll post it to them I'm, because because the, pay, the postage is going to be paid by my husband's company I'm happy to send them abroad <laughs> anyway some of them are patterns that I have uh, well a couple I think there's two that I actually bought two of by mistake and um, and other ones are where I've actually bought the pattern and then I've been given a free one in a magazine so I figured that you might like it because I, and I have two I have no use for them and a couple of others are where I've had them and I thought well that's not my kind of pattern so it might appeal to you or it might appeal to you making one for your daughter or your you know some relation so if you're interested let me know let me know which one you're interested in or if there's more than one I can I'm happy to put your name in more than one uh, little pot but the first one I'll start with the first one which was one of my very first patterns that I bought Now, uh, it actually was a nice pattern, but I wasn't sure if it was for me because I, I liked the bagginess of it, but it just looked a bit too big for me. But I thought it was, I, I've actually still got my own pattern, but this is another one. The first pattern is one of my very first patterns that I bought since I started sewing again. And it's actually for, I think it's for a size 1X, 2X, 3X and 4X. And the 1X is for a 45 bust, a 37 waist, a 47 hip, and uh, and then the 4X is for a, so you've got, you go from a 45 inch bust right up to a 57 inch bust, a 49 inch waist and a 59 inch hip. So if you go between those two measurements, I'll put the information up here, uh, then by all means if you want to go for it go for it and this is the quick sew k2836 k2836 and i'll put that i'll put a little picture up there for you so you can have a look at it a bit more it's actually like a pinafer dress i thought i quite liked it and um, it's got the if you it's actually not just the actual pinafer dress i quite like that one i think that was the one i made without the um without the buttons down in the front and pinafer dresses are in at the moment uh, but you also get a little shirt to go with it don't know if you can see that it's got a shirt at the bottom so it's a nice little pattern and as, as i say k2836 quick sew 1x 2x 3x and 4x so if you like that one just let me know which one, that you that that's one that you want me to you, you might fancy putting in the drawer for the, well this the next one i actually have three patterns on and it's one of the first dresses I made so um, bought one from one source then I bought one from another source and the third one has just come through the door and it come in a magazine so I just thought well I've got two to give away here two of the same and it's the Buttrick 6164 dress and that's it that's the front and, and that's the back 
I think in my, one of my first vlogs I made it out of some fox fabric. On reflection, the fox fabric I made it with was a bit too stiff a cotton. I think I would have, I should have made it in a, a slightly less stiff cotton, um, more of a softer, a softer lawn type of fabric. Um, or a soft cotton but it looked lovely and I, I, I rather like the blue but the two-tone version the one where it's white at the top and blue at the bottom so I've still got the pattern myself but I've got two of these I've got three all together but two to go so if you're interested in these I'll put I'll call one a love sewing one and I'll call one just an on just a buttrick it's the B6164 this one is for a size 14 through to a size 22 Whereas the Love Sewing one, if you wanted to do it for your daughters or anything, it's for, from a size 6 to a size 22. So that's it. that goes right the way across the board. The, the Love Sewing one and that one is just 14 to a 22. So please let me know which one you want me to, you want me to put your name in for. There, the back versions of that one is there, of the B6164. So you can see that, that's it there. 6164. Then the next one is the one I made last year. I've got again, I got this with the Love Sewing magazine. I've already got it. I liked the top. I will be making more of these myself. And it's the McCall's M7390. And that, um, I think I made both of mine without sleeves, and one was purple, and I think another one was black. I, since been put in the charity bag I wore them but they've been put in the charity bag now so I can't show you what they look like I'll see if I can pull a picture up but that is the back pattern for you and I'll put again I'll put that up there for you to see uh, so that's the M7390 and that is from a size 6 to a t 22 actually these sewing magazines are quite good because they do from a 6 to a 22 whereas your actual um, ones that you buy from the magazines only go from you either go 6 to a 14 or 14 to 20 so 22 so that's well worth looking you know if you if, if you want that pattern it's an m7390 the next one's another freebie one uh, that came in the magazine um, not totally my style, but I think it will probably look nice. It would look nice in the, in the uh, magazine. A couple of people made it up in the magazine. It's the M, I'll see if I can find a picture to show you what they're like. M7048. And that, that's quite nice. I mean, it's, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, um, I just figured it, bell sleeves aren't for me. You know, you know, I, you ladies know that I like a, generally like a three quarter length sleeve. And this one is from a size 6 to a 26 and an extra small to an extra extra small. Oh no, this one is size 6 to a 26. So that's, that caters for a lot of sizes and that's the back view. And um, then I have two, two little dinky ones. One is, uh, it's from the Love Sewing magazine again, and this is an A-line -line skirt. If an A-line skirt, it's a nice skirt, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not into skirts, so it's pointless showing you me keeping it. And unfortunately, my daughter lives too far away to want, she, I don't think she's into skirts like that, she may be, but it's, uh, it's not something that I would make for her. And the sizes there are from a size 6 to a 20 and a, that is a fairly easy make so if you're a beginner that's a good one to start with. From a size 6 which is a 25 inch waist to a size 20 which is a 39 inch waist. And then this one is... Um, um, this one because I don't have a dog and uh, I'm I have cats pussy cats as you know um, at least <laughs> no my son stepson has a pussy cat but I think this these pussy cats are going to be mine forever from the looks of things it's just there can you see her sitting there look up at it uh, 
this is another one that came with the Love Sewing magazine. It's a Butterick adorable dog coat and it's a little tartan one. You can tartan with fleece and it's in sizes extra small to large. So if you have a dog that you quite fancy making this for or if you have several dogs or you want to start making them and selling them then that's probably a good one. That's the back version. Nice little thing, but uh, I never did put my dogs in, in coats and I probably never would. So, But there are some people who like to do that. So that's another one. The Buttrick Adorable Dog Coat. So if you let me know if it's a dog coat. Two more. One of them is... Uh, I used to wear this, this style of dress when I was younger. And um, I did like it, but again, I'm, I d I'm not one for showing too much cleavage. And... Uh, I think it's probably very flattering but again I'm not I'm not one for having a low cut front and I'm not one for um, what would I say sweetheart type necks I think it's a sweetheart type neck and this was with my love sewing magazine as well and it's a Buttrick 6380 it's actually um, a Gertie one is it Gertie I think she's called Gertie um, it's a nice one, it's beautiful. I love the purpley one. I love that lilac, that, that fuchsia purple one. Uh, that one is in sizes 6 to 22 again. They cater for quite a wide size. And that's the, um, the view at the back. Now you see, I am not overly keen on, I did make something like that for a, a wedding once and it just didn't, I couldn't it looked nice on me but I couldn't get away with it so that if you if you want it or if you know anyone who you'd like to make a dress for it's you know that B the Buttrick C B6380 is the one to ask for and lastly I have this I haven't made this yet and I've just bought the pattern I bought the pattern a month ago and then it, we've got it uh, I bought the pattern just before the Love, the Love Sewing magazine said they were bringing a pattern out uh, that, that we were getting free, a free pattern. Oh, I've got a bumblebee that's just come in. You leave that bumblebee alone. Oh, she's going to go. She's, she's, she can see it buzzing around. Leave it alone. Um, and that is the M7547. And they are the dungarees and the trousers. Uh, they are dungarees and trousers and in the Love Sewing magazine they have a pattern hack where you can actually take the the uh, the track these and then turn them into a skirt but um, what that that I've already got a pattern that pattern and again from a size 6 to a 22 can you see that yes that bumblebee's gone yeah it's gone away so a 6 to a 22, so um, I'll put the picture up there again, and that's, uh, I haven't made it, I'm quite looking forward to making them because I like dungarees, and I think I might, um, I quite fancy making it the, the dark pair, or a floral pair, because in the magazine, uh, now where's that magazine, I'll show you what they look like. Anyway, that's lovely to, lovely telling you about this. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out here. And uh, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry about it being me being away for so long. I, I, I had hoped I'd have a lot of vlogs now these days. But uh, again, I'll repeat, busy, busy, busy at work. One day I shall be retired. One day I shall be retired. I shall love it because I can, I'm a bit of a workaholic as it is, and I work all hours. I work till one o'clock in the morning doing something. There's always something I'm on the go with. So um, I've got that. We've been grand, minding grandchildren, but we will, uh, I'm trying to fit these vlogs in as, as much as I can. So, and plus in the summer, you don't really want to be watching old people like me. But uh, anyway, I shall catch you next time.